On shallow sand flats, survival depends on finding the right home, and for the saddleback clownfish, nothing is safer than the tentacles of a giant carpet anemone. The anemone's sting can kill almost anything that touches it, but clownfish are coated in a special mucus that makes them completely immune. It's a perfect shelter from predators. And in return, the clownfish clean debris from the anemone and fan water over its surface, keeping it healthy. It's one of the ocean's clearest examples of mutualism. Like all clownfish societies, this family is ruled by a dominant female, easily recognized by her bright white face. The smaller male must prove he's worthy of staying by working constantly, cleaning, tending, and guarding their home. But his greatest task is still ahead. He must find a solid surface where the female can lay her eggs. And in these soft sand flats, nothing stays put. A seashell might work if it weren't alive. A hermit crab inside quickly makes that option impossible. But twice a day, the tides sweep across the reef, delivering new possibilities. A plastic bottle, no. A coconut shell, perfect, but far from the safety of the anemone. He can't move it alone. So the entire family joins in, pushing and dragging it together across the sand. Near the anemone, he clears space among the tentacles and tucks the shell safely inside. At last, a nursery. The female lays her eggs, the male fertilizes them and now begins his final, most important duty, tending every egg for the next 10 days, cleaning them, fanning them, protecting the next generation. 